Hello, everybody, and welcome to our weekly Pick Me Up. This week, we have with us a very wonderful, wonderful friend and uh, someone who's very precious to us here in church, Kala. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great, pastors. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, it's our pleasure. A lot of people in church don't actually get a lot of opportunity to see you because you always work behind the scenes. Either you are yes. in the sound box or you are up with the children. So you know what? Incredible. Yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit about your life. Well, I am a, I am a professor at the Faculty of Pharmacy uh, at UITM. And well, when I first started at WHC, I was just Dr. Kala. But over the years, you know, um, right after joining WHC, I got a promotion, I became an associate professor and, and yeah, last year I actually got a professor. So the whole promotion journey was at Full Harvest Church and um, I'm awesome. so grateful. How was it for you when uh, the lockdown happened on the 18th of March? I mean, thank God right now we have got very little new cases. Yes. So we're very God. thankful to God for giving us a wonderful DG of uh, yeah. health, health as yes. well as a very good Malaysian uh, medical team yes. that has worked very hard for this nation. How did you manage to overcome that very difficult time? Well, during the lockdown, I think initially it was a lot of fear. All right. There was, you know, just fear everywhere and I, re I realized that, you know, I prayed a lot during the at the beginning stage of the, that that whole period of MCO because the numbers were just you know like it just exploded. Yes. And there was fear for you know my my family and my mom who is so old you know that made me actually uh, pray harder. Actually, I, I really prayed and uh, I would say I'll just you know fall down and and really worship because. I mean, my whole family, you know, we really had to have God at that time. All of us, I think, we, we, we really... Because many of my family members were there, mm -hmm. you know, being exposed to all these. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there would have been exposed to COVID-19. And, uh, you know, it's different when it's your own family member, you know, who's, who's right. feeling well. And you really can't go and travel and see them. So that, that's, that makes it worse. Before the lockdown, actually, my nephew called me and he said, uh, auntie, don't, don't, uh, maybe, you know, you should stay at, at, at you know, uh, my sister's place and instead of, of going home because he said he encountered a case, he, he's with HKL, he said he encountered a, a patient with COVID-19. So, uh, there was fear, you know, of, of course, you know, to stay at people's house is not easy, but I just prayed and I went home because I was worried about him, you know, staying alone at home. So, it was, it was challenging. So, this, uh, yeah, so my nephew actually went through two or three tests and it was all negative. Oh my goodness, that's a so, lot of stress. And it's not once, but it happened again and again. So it's, wow. it's you know, sometimes it's like it can be very tiring. Right. So and I was still okay, but the worst was when my niece in Ipo, you know, uh, she works at the pit ward and it was a challenge for me because I'm very close to her and uh, I actually couldn't see her. She encountered the, the a patient, a covid no, not the patient, the, the child's mom was okay. a COVID patient. All right. Yeah, I mean, um, so I thought that, you know, automatically, you know, my mind, I thought that don't tell me, you know, she would have, because she was having sore throat for two weeks. Right. And the, I, I can't actually go there. So it, it was a very difficult time. And she did three, three tests, I think, for COVID. And all three times it was negative. Thank mm. God. So at that time, and I really... Recovered. Pardon? And she, she recovered. recovered. She recovered. I mean, it's amazing, you know, for somebody to encounter a, a COVID, you know, somebody who was a COVID positive carrier and uh, to be negative three times, you know, that, that's wow. amazing, really. Not only that the Lord covers us, but yeah. He also is so gracious yeah. to take care of our loved ones, our family, our family members. And wow. my, you know what, in this day and age, how precious is that <laughs> that we can we can just have that confidence that yeah. God is watching? I, I could us. see that she was, you know, she was so um, could see that she was sad, she was unhappy, and she was fearful. I I could hear her voice actually, mm. but uh, I gave her the confidence. I said, "No, my God will not let you down." That, wow. that was, Amen. 
you, you trust and I told her you trust Jesus Lavinia I said you trust God and uh, you trust my God I said and, and don't worry I prayed for her you know all those things so um, I think it was really prayer that helped me uh, you know through that season through that, that initial stage I would say that, that first three weeks to four weeks yeah because, right. you know, nothing much was known at that time so right uh, it, it was it was uh, um, a lot of fear, but I, I think that prayers really helped me go through that whole, you know. How is your journey of getting to know the Lord? So, um, I was really a, a staunch Hindu, and I used to go to India every year without fail. Okay, so this is something that I used to do, and uh, my friends actually are very surprised that I'm a Christian today. Why, you may ask. Um, yeah, simply because, I mean, it just happened like that. I was introduced to uh, Jesus by my friend actually at, at, at university one day. I mean, he's been talking to me about Jesus like for so many years. But but just be, before he left Australia, I don't know, I just felt that, you know, okay, let me know about you know who this Jesus is. And somehow, it, it just happened like that. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, but there was no, um, there was no relationship. I didn't know who this God is. Is. And uh, finally, I went to well, I came to World Harvest Church, and um, initially, it was so different for me. It was difficult. I I have to be very honest. Getting into church was like um, it was a challenge for the first first few months. I would say it was a challenge because I was like, why is everybody singing and dancing? I I really, you know, I didn't know what from nothing, you know, from from a different background, which was quite a challenge for me. So. But somehow, somehow, after going, I would say like a few weeks, I realized that th there was something about God. And so I, I used to read the Bible at home, uh, but, but I just couldn't understand. I, I didn't understand why, what is, I, I know that there's something about Jesus, but I really didn't understand just from the Bible. So I think that's the reason it's important for us to go to church. Because there are, there are things that in the Bible we can read, but it just, you know, I, I just couldn't understand. But when I went to church, I realized that God is real. He is, he is there to help me. And that is so I, important. You know, that, that, that relationship is so important, yeah, which I, I really cherish and, and something that I will always remember. And I, I thank the both of you. Aww, really. We're so humble. Uh, so, so humble. humble. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's the truth. A lot of my friends whom I, whom I meet, you know, who've come from uh, a different faith before, and uh, you know, and their testimony is almost similar to what you are sharing today. They really found Jesus because He was personal and real to them, and uh, and He gave them a, a, a relationship rather than just religion. That's right. You know? yeah. A religion is something that anybody can follow, but having a relationship with God is. It's, yeah, it, it's just like there's no match to that. <laughs> that that connection with Jesus is very important because then you know that you can go to you know to Jesus anytime. I I didn't have that 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 relationship before. I right. just thought initially I thought that God was God. I mean that was how I was trained. I thought God was this this person who is very far and you know is always waiting to punish us. I mean I thought Jesus was that you know. So yeah. I, I went to church and I was like finding out more. So it was quite difficult for me, mm -hmm. from a Hindu background, to suddenly become the only Christian at home. Right. Yes. It was not easy. It was not an easy journey. So it, I could have turned, you know, turned back, made a U-turn, but I didn't. I think it was because I, I think Jesus was there for me from the beginning. Yeah. To think yes. Of it. He was watching over you. Yes. So after this uh, lockdown, how have things been for you? Have you started going back to uh, the research center yet? Yes, uh, I have gone back to work, and uh, but of course, you know, we can. It's still flexible, but it's just that um, now it's much better, I would say. But of course, teaching, you know, when your students are not around, face to face is so different. It's right. so much better teaching online. It's it's challenging, but I would say that I looked at it. Positively, you know, we learned a lot of things, you know, uh, it was, yeah, we had to learn how to edit videos, how to pre-record your lectures and yeah. what is amazing is, you know, God has given me the strength to do research even during this period. It's not easy. It's seriously not easy. Yeah. yeah. Think it's still okay, but to do research, not everybody, people will take the easy way out, but my team and I, 
even during this COVID-19, uh, this, this whole phase, I would say that we still find ways, we still come up with guidelines, you know, how to do research during COVID-19 because wow. we still have, you know, research has to still go on. Yes. Yeah, I think that I am looking at things very positively. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm just confident that eventually, I hope, yeah, we, we are hoping actually for a vaccine. I know it's supposed to be in August, but it's not there. Uh, but it usually takes 18 months, but let's see how it goes. Yes, in these in these uh, months, we've not been able to meet face to face in church, and uh, there's so many restrictions. Of course, we are we are just counting the days uh, when when the SOPs come out that we can really come back together. Uh, we are working on that as a church, and we want to we want to be able to accommodate people back in the house. And we are like missing everybody so much. Yeah, very much. Uh, what do you miss most about church? If you ask me, World Harvest Church is about love. I mean, I had actually Pastor Daniel and Jesse WhatsApp me yesterday asking me for lunch for tomorrow, but I can't because I, I have to do a procedure. So, okay. yeah, so it's it's all about love and uh, it's home. I miss the kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the children, the children, too. children. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. You know, WHC is really uh, a church that is built on the sacrifices of so many uh, volunteers and yeah. people who serve so faithfully like yourself. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I thank God for people like you, Kala, because, you know, you, you may not be up in the, in, the, in the front, so to say, but what you are doing is so crucial. I'm happy to be at the back. <laughs> Sorry? I'm very happy to be at the back for him. <laughs> <laughs> We're just wanting to ask you, what would you like to advise those yes. who listen to this pick me up? What would you advise them in regard to their faith in Jesus? Yeah. What I would like to say is that, you know, um, God's face will always shine upon, uh, upon us. And that, you know, what we need to do is just trust Him, you know, leave it, leave it to God, you know. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, you know, God's promises will not fail you know okay. and i yeah I, I always feel, feel that I, I went through you know whatever challenge challenges there are i always believe that you can trust god mm -hmm. have faith in god and um just leave it to him because yeah. he is he is god almighty anyway right that gives me a lot of confidence even during challenging times yeah wow Thank yeah. you so Thank much. Thank you. I mean, to wrap that up, according to Jeremiah 17 verse 7, it says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Yes. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you, Carla, for, for giving us your time. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your heart Thank with you. us. And our prayer is that God will bless you and that in your work of research, that, uh, yes. uh, you know, you would be part of the solution to, to this pandemic yes. that you know god will use people like you yes. in finding that vaccine to defeat this virus thank you so much for joining yes. us today no matter what you go through in life i want to encourage everyone watching today that god loves you and yes. god has a good plan and a good purpose for you god bless you and have a great week